Welcome back to Risk of Rain 2. It's been a while since I've done an episode of this. I thought I'd revisit it a couple weeks ago, but um, life kind of got in the way in doing a extremely long playthrough to get nice items um, and make a proper video out of it. It kind of didn't go well. Anyway. I am responding in this, which is why it's a little bit of a short one, to a commenter who asked how to get the uh, item of command artifact. And so I thought I'd just do a video quickly explaining how to get all of the artifacts. Now it's going to be literally pretty much as long as it takes. And it's actually kind of easy. And on that note, I'll see you in four stages. Here we are on stage five. For speed, I'm just gonna skip it all. The uh, main map isn't what you need at all. Um, and obviously the teleporter on this map takes you to the boss stage. Uh, but yeah, we don't need this. If you go all the way to I don't know, kind of what I like to think of the left side of the map. Um, and look down, you can see there's like a little, uh, by little I mean massive platform. Uh, this is basically where you got to go. Um, and if you see over here, there is a computer and nine little things. It gives you a slab right here, which I'm going to put in now. And it's very simple to follow, it's just literally the top, second, and third row, and you just put it in there. And then once that's done, you go over here and you whack this little button. And a portal will appear. Now, this portal will take you to a brand new stage. Here we are. It's called the Bulwark's Ombre. Um And all you basically have to do is um, kill things until you get these artifact of whatever it comes up in here it's an artifact key and you walk over here with the artifact key and you press it on here and it'll knock you back and you got to do that a couple times like three or four times um and then at the end of this you just unlock the artifact in the menu which you could put this is how you get command or swarms or any of those types of things um but yeah i'm gonna go through now and throw up some uh, uh, graphics of each of the artifact um, and narrate over it because, you know, why not? Um, and how you get what code you put into the computer to get here. And yeah, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, comment, sub, you know. <laughs> this is the first video I've actually done on somebody asking me something. So, yeah, we'll ignore that. See you in the next one, guys. Artifact of Chaos. Friendly fire is enabled for both survivors and monsters alike. Artifact of Kin. Monsters will be of only one type per stage. Artifact of Swarms. Monster spawns are doubled, but monster's max health is halved. Artifact of Dissonance. Monsters can appear outside of their usual environments. Artifact of Metamorphosis. Players always spawn as a random survivor. Artifact of Death. When one player dies, everyone dies. 
Artifact of Soul. Wisps emerge from defeated monsters. Artifact of Frailty. Full damage is doubled and lethal. Artifact of Honor. Enemies can only spawn as elites. Artifact of Glass. Allies deal 500% damage but have 10% health. Artifact of Evolution. Monsters gain items between stages. Artifact of Command. Choose your items. Artifact of Enigma. Spawn a random equipment that changes every time it's activated. Artifact of Sacrifice. Monsters drop items on health, but chests no longer spawn. Artifact of Vengeance. Your relentless doppelganger will invade every 10 minutes. An artifact of Spite. Enemies drop multiple exploding bombs on death. Side note, just so um, anybody who's curious knows, if you drop down to this ledge, there's a little book for the environment log of this place. And it, I think, I do believe it always spawns there. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, let me just uh, quickly grab the last artifact key. There it is. Yeah, anyway. Once you uh, do the last one, this will be unlocked, as it were. And you kind of just jump up next to it. And you grab it. And I just unlocked the Artifact of Honor. Um, which I tell you what does earlier. Uh, anyway, and then you just jump up to this platform. That's embarrassing. Just jump up to this platform and hit this portal and continue your run. Uh, these jump pads will help you out if you don't have any movement items. But uh, yeah, that should be it. I'll see you in the next one.